Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I are going to wax poetic on a subject or two. That's, that's wax poetic. Oh. Wax, I, art, my, my waxing poetic, my poetic wax today is about holiday parties. Oh. Uh, have, have you gotten any invites yet? Well, actually, since COVID, no. <laughs> that's a long time to go without a party. Right. So I know this is the beginning of the holiday party season because my dentist is having an open house this week. Your dentist? It's, it's the holiday party for the dentist and everybody goes. It's a great it's a great party by the way. Do you get invited plus one or bring your cavities? Oh, yeah. I mean, how does it work? Yeah, if, you, if you want. Yeah, it's very nice and you know it's wonderful to see these people without a mask on. <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, right. oh, you're my hygienist. Oh. oh or their hands in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, it made me think about holidays and parties. And, you know, holidays can be the loneliest time of the year if you're alone. You know, if you've got a family around you, mm. the kids are screaming, the relatives are yelling, whatever. And it, it doesn't seem, you know, quiet or lonesome. But if you're living alone, you're divorced or single or whatever it is, it, it can be very lonely, uh, particularly with all the festivities going on. Hmm. And uh, I know you love Festivus. <laughs> sure, that's for the well rest of us. Hanukkah. Right. Um, but sometimes you just don't feel festive uh, if you're living alone. So my suggestion this year is that if you are alone, have your own party. Invite somebody over, invite another single, invite a neighbor. It doesn't have to be a big party, right? It doesn't have to be a blowout with hundreds of people. It can be two or three people. Just have a little party, get together. Yeah, there, uh, there, I, I agree, John. If you're having a, a we, we've always uh, uh, had a tradition in our family of uh, if we knew that uh, uh, somebody, maybe somebody we haven't even seen for 30 years from back east, uh, they say, hey, our, you know, my wife will read on Facebook, the kid is in uh, on the West Coast because they're taking a training session. They're, they, they're here for the weekend that happens to be uh, Hanukkah or, or some other uh, uh, activity that we have going on. We'll invite them over. So that always happens. And I know that uh, there's, a, particularly here in Mission Viejo, where you used to live, uh, there's a sort of a tradition of inviting uh, uh, members of the service who are away from home. Right, so right. They, well, they, Mission Viejo is right next to Camp Pendleton, right. big marine base, and and yes, everybody in the area, particularly in Orange County, has kind of adopted uh, the Marines. Uh, Northern San Diego, Southern Orange County, right. yeah, it's it's like a tradition. You're right, but it's a great thing to share. Um, so, for instance, when when we get together for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever dinner. Um, there'll be friends there anyway, but more often it's uh, my, my daughter or son's friends of their age with their kids, you know, so it becomes a big party. Sure. But we often forget about those people that are by themselves. Uh, we forget, and that's usually, let's face it, it's not a 30-year-old. The 30-year-olds all meet together in a bar. They're not quite as lonesome as the 60 Especially, especially if you have a neighbor uh, right down the block who you may have no more than two or three words with uh, during the regular year. If you see that they don't go away to meet with their kids yep. or Great other family idea. members, uh, invite them in. Yeah, I think that's why um, the over 55 communities are so popular. Mm. Because let's face it, after 55, you've got a better chance of being alone uh, than when you're you know, growing up uh, before retirement. And so they have community activities and they have uh, community dinners and all kinds of things that get people together, get them out of their shell, out of their house and, and sharing. So that's an important thing in this, this season of the year. And by the way, John, I, I want to uh, uh, make, give an open invitation to anybody in the Southern California area that's throwing a very, very swank party that I don't have to buy a tux for. Invite John or myself because we'll be good for uh, coming and and enjoying yep. and, and praising you for the good works that you've done and enjoying yep. your food and your liquor. So, oh, yeah. uh, 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 and we'll come together. So we'll be each other's plus one. We're we're available. Let's we put it that way. We're available yep. to 
to make you feel better. Yeah. Anyway, happy. Let's go to the list. Happy anything. Happy anything. happy anything. Happy anything. Happy everything. Yes. Yes. And share it. Share the goodwill. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.